Welcome to Toast, Thoughts of a Stoner Tube. All right, uh, man. I, man, dang. All right, so listen. Jack Boy, who is an affiliate of Kodak Black, you can constantly hear him say free Jack Boy, you know, back in his old uh, stuff. And he did get free, right? But now he's locked back up, okay? Unfortunately, yes, he's locked back up on things that probably could have been avoided. I'm just saying. Now, listen, he's he is he has five charges okay one he was arrested on possession of a weapon or ammo by a felon all right so we know that they don't play about those type of charges all right now the second charges is um or the second charge of the five is uh resisting arrest or obstruction all right so basically that's pew, taking off on a cop it's basically getting the hell on okay now three he was also arrested on robbery or firearm i so i don't know um and then four he was also arrested on credit card fraud so you know probably on that free band stuff allegedly all right and then his fifth charge is aggravated battery bodily harm so He's facing five serious charges, bro. Five serious charges. Um, and, I mean, damn, you know what I'm saying? If you look at his mugshot, bro, he looks, I don't know. He looks like he's been through it. Like something happened to his face, bro, because he wasn't looking like that not too long ago. All right? Now, something that really alarms me, though, is the credit card fraud charge because um, being a rapper, like, you want to believe they getting this money but when people get arrested for this or just like little little petty things like like uh just little petty things man that that have to do with scamming and things that have to do with money it makes you wonder like are these folks really getting money like they say they are and i'm not saying that he's like out here you know bragging about it i mean well he i mean i'm not saying he's out here bragging about his money all right but when you're a rapper, you're looked at in that light. So this is also just a um, I don't know, man. It's just a wake up call to let you know that that these folks ain't got it like that, man. And they out here doing allegedly, they out here doing uh the same stuff I know people who doing. I mean, so it's not different. It's no different. And uh, he's also been in the news lately because he got beef with Rich Homie Quan because Rich Homie Quan didn't do a feature that Jack Boy was supposed to get since April. And I mean, I can kind of understand his frustration. And we know Rich Homie Quan is is uh is known to do that. He's known to uh, not not really look out for up and coming artists who are trying to come up like Rallo or or Jack Boy. All right, so um. And, and uh, man, it just, damn, bro, like, Kodak is out, and he's really staying out of legal trouble. And then you got Jack Boy, who's, I don't know, man, it's always like as soon as one homeboy doing right or one homeboy get out, then someone else go in. It's like, n niggas can't all just be out at one time. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I'm about to get up out of here. I really hope that he is not, uh, you know, guilty of what he's being charged for. A lot of people are saying free Jack boy. I like it. You know what I'm saying? But if you are guilty of the things you're being accused of, I can't I can't say free this nigga, man. Uh I can't say free this nigga, man. We gotta stop that. We gotta stop embracing the stupid shit. And I'm sorry for cursing, cause YouTube's tripping, alright? But we gotta stop embracing the stupid stuff. And uh and we gotta hold these folks accountable bro we can't keep saying free this guy free this guy and they locked up for all this coonery so y'all let me know what y'all think about this man uh jack boy i like you all right i like you but if you're guilty i can't be saying free you dog i'm gone